are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to a new episode of Görgöt. Today we're making kind of a staple for your larder, and that's a chili crunch. We're making the best chili crunch there is, and it's Eddie's chili crunch. Um, my friend from the chef who works in Vienna at uh, Mochi, and this is his recipe. And I make it maybe twice a year because it keeps for months. So it's worth making a bit of a bigger batch. But before we go into all the ingredients, if you're not supporting the channel yet, please do so. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe and check the bell icon so that you get notifications every Tuesday when new content is online. But now let's have a look at the ingredients. As you can see, our board has quite a lot of things today. We'll start with the stuff that we are going to deep fat fry. So we have ginger. We're going to need 40 grams of the ginger. We have two red onions here. If you have big red onions, just use one. And we have 30 grams of garlic, one bay leaf, bay leaf, bay leaf, and one cinnamon stick. And that goes into the deep fat fry. We have some oil on there, just the neutral oil, in my case, peanut oil. And the rest just goes in as it is. We have 50 grams of peanuts. These are salted, but you can use non-salted as well. We'll, so we'll use salt at the end to kind of make up for if it's enough salt or not. It won't be enough, but uh, we have some extra here. We have 100 grams of fried onions. In this case, it's shallots. We have 30 grams of black sesame seed, 30 grams of white sesame seeds. We have 5 grams of five spice, 15 grams of brown sugar. We have five green cardamom pods. And we have 20 grams of dried chili. And the prep we'll need to do, we'll need to chop up the chili. We need to slice the garlic. We need to chop the red onions. And we need to chop 40 grams of the ginger. So we'll start with the prep of that. Now, peel your onions. Peel your ginger. As said, we need 40 grams of it. But I just wanted to show you a really quick way of peeling, and that's with a spoon. Just scraping it like this. So do that, and I'll see you again. We we'll peel our ginger. This is 40 grams. Our onions peeled. We we'll start with the garlic. So the garlic, we're just gonna slice, not too thin, a couple of mill millimeters. Slice all your garlic. We can mix everything in one bowl afterwards. I'll see you once that's done. That's our garlic. Now for our onion, just a standard chop basically. the rest of them. And that's our onion. Oh, what I forgot to tell you, turn on the stove so that the oil can already heat up. It needs to get to 160 degrees. Now for our ginger, kind of the same size as we did the onions. Let's group them together a bit. So that size. Do all of your photograms. There we are with our ginger as well. Now this all goes into the oil. So we'll add the cinnamon stick and the bay leaf and put that next to the pot so we're ready. And we'll continue with the chilies. Now for our chilies, you can either put them in a blender or you can put them in a mortar or you could just slowly do it by hand like this. 
You just have to be a bit careful that it doesn't go everywhere. So I'll see when this is done. So after some chopping, this is what we end up with. Now get a big bowl, uh, one that can take really hot stuff, because we're going to pour hot oil on that later on. So I'm going to use this, get your chilies in there. Clean up the board a bit. And we can put our onions in, our peanuts in. We can put everything here in as well. I'm just going to crush these with my hands. Or crush them, but break them. And then we put in the black and white sesame, the five spice, and the brown sugar. And we can just give this a quick stir. And just leave this on the side. Now we'll move over here and we'll deep fat fry our ginger, lemon, ginger, red onions and garlic. No lemon. Our oil is hot enough. It's a bit too much oil in there. Just lift it up, let it cool down and settle. And then we'll put in the rest. So everything is in, we can put it back on the heat. Always be very careful when you're dealing with hot oil. And now we just want a slight brownness on the onions and the garlic. And this already flavors the oil. We're going to use the same oil to fill up our container afterwards. As you can see, it's turning more and more brown. We don't want it very dark, but a couple of seconds more. This is what we're looking for. So we'll take all of this now, put it into your bowl. Don't bother drying it off because we're going to put oil in the bowl afterwards. The ginger really does wonders in this chili crunch. So, and now we'll move over. So, now just mix this in with the other mix you had. And we're going to add a bit of salt. Quite a good portion actually. A small handful. And we're bringing our oil back to 160 degrees. And we grab a small strainer just to catch if there's any burnt bits now in the oil. And we're going to let it cool down in this container. And afterwards we'll use this. You could do it straight into this if you want. But I'm a little bit unsure if this can take the heat. So I normally do it in this, let it cool a bit, and then move it over. Move this out of the way because our oil is up to temperature. As always, be careful. A little bit more. There we are. And now we mix through this. And now all that's left to do is to let this cool down and then we'll give it a try and we'll fill it into this. So I'll see you in probably an hour or so before we can try it. Now it's cooled down but it's not cold and we'll just move it over spoon by spoon. This will take a little bit so I'll see you once we've done this. So we managed to spoon most of it over. And the rest we can just kind of and important is that the oil covers the chili crunch I think we have enough there so it's almost time to try this but before we do so as always if you enjoyed this video do me the huge favor and hit that thumbs up button only takes you a second but I would be so appreciative if you could do that for me. But now let's take some of this out. We don't want too much of the oil. Ah, and what I forgot to mention, the cinnamon stick and the bay leaf are still in there. You obviously cannot eat them like that, but they flavor the oil. The longer it stands, the more flavor it picks up and that flavors everything else. But let's give this a try now.
I promise you, this is the best chili crunch you can make yourself. It has a nice saltiness, but also a nice sweetness to it. It has heat, but not too much heat. You can eat it like this. Mm. Nice crunch. I don't know if you can hear it in the microphone. And a little bit of fruitiness from the ginger. This is very nice addition, I think. And it's really versatile. Oh, <clears throat> just swallow the chili. This keeps for months. And you can use it for noodles, you can use it for fish, you can use it for meat. Make an avocado toast on a Sunday morning for brunch, put some of the chili crunch on it. It's going to be fantastic. So it's very versatile. It's worth doing it. And you have a perfect condiment here that will keep probably even half a year. I think the longest I've kept it, I haven't kept it half a year because you usually finish it before that, but for sure four or five months. But do th give this a try. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope I see you next time. Don't forget, if you're not subscribing yet, hit it and also the check. But that's it for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.